is going on guys this is cupcake smasher here bringing you another video and today i am in arena 7 and actually have been getting really really close to breaking my record all day long i've been hovering right in these 2750 to 2850 range and i think i will be hitting legends arena this week now there are i think it's seven days left so i kind of hope i hit it but i also don't want to because i am going to sit and get my legend trophies claim them no matter what so kind of not looking forward to sitting around but let me show you some of these replays because they have been insane so here is the first one guys and i'd also like to add we have been doing great on subscribers lately and so close to 200 we're at 189 as the the time of this video and i'm super excited for 200 so j we're starting the battle now i got a minion horde off of him off the start he's gonna be a mortar guy you can see it right now and you can see I touched both the Valk and the Prince. I didn't, like, switch there. I'm holding them both, but the game only tracks one. And here comes the Valk Prince. He doesn't have anything really to do. So he's going to try to lay the cannon. Then he's going to go skeletons. They die instantly. Valk and Prince onto the tower. And boom, it is going to melt right off the start. He doesn't even have a chance to get his mortar down. And it is already gone. Now my Prince, he lays the mortar. My Prince turns around onto the mortar. Gonna take it out completely. I don't even have to use the tombstone now then i'm gonna go giant goblin barrel and spear goblins and take down the next tower so in a minute guys i'm going to have two towers down this is so fast this is absolute complete destruction against the mortar user and it is so fun so here comes a valk on the opposite side take care of these barbs this other barb and skeleton my tower will be able to deal with it just fine i think it might be able to get one shot off but really nothing more but now, at this point, I really could do whatever I want to. And I'm going to be mostly defensive here. He's going to drop a minion whore, try to clear out the Valk. And then going to be trying to remove that tombstone. Because you really can't have the tombstone up with the mortar. And he does end up leaving it. And the best part about this is because the mortar has a dead zone. The skeleton's going to pound away at the base of the mortar. Be like, I have a screwdriver and I'm going to take some bolts out. But now Mortar is going to finally break apart the Tombstone. He's going to get one shot off on my tower. Now I can drop the Minion Horde in between these two defenses. Clear him out completely if I wanted to. Or I could just lay the Giant. It really doesn't matter at this point. Now I go Minion Horde. That's going to be taken down with the arrows. But my Giant's up. My Spear Goblins are going to clear out these Skeletons. Level 8 Skeletons. They actually do quite a bit of damage. And this Zap has been so annoying to play. But Giant makes his way to the tower. He's going to get a couple shots off. My Tombstone is in time. So this Mortar is going to be... Shooting at the skeletons for a lot of this. Now the Valk's going to help damage the barbs. Uh, oh my goodness. Look at all that damage. Tower's going to go boop, 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 boop. All of the barbs are now down. Minion's going to be arrowed down. And boom, Mortar is going to die. Doesn't even take a single shot on my tower. Now I'm going to use Prince and Giant all the way across the map. Just trying to make him choose his priorities. He gets the Mortar down again. But at this point, he was just trying to get whatever he could. There is no way he's going to get two crowns in 30 seconds with the Mortar deck. So now I have Minion Horde, I have my Prince still working on the barbs. I've got Giant on the King Tower, and I'm just going to throw a Valk where these barbs are coming. He's going to zap my Valk to try to delay her from doing any damage. It works out okay, the barbs aren't in critical health by the end, but my tower is still going to deal fine. And with the Tombstone there, it's going to be basically impossible for him to recover. 7 seconds left, 6, 5, 4. This Mortar guy got destroyed. Let's get into the next one. Okay guys, here is the next Mortar deck. And you can see Tesla in the queue. These guys got really unlucky against me. They had their mortars last, which was really, really going to work out well for me. Now, this battle, though, I go down so much right here at the start. So I, drop, I start with my giant. He's going to go Tesla, and I have my spear golems. I actually do really, really well here. He's going to zap down my spear golems, but that goblin bro is going to get through those skeletons. They should normally distract the back goblin, but he laid it too early. Two of them died with the impact, the damage on impact, and the skeleton picked off, or the goblin picked off the last two skeletons. That's going to be a huge, huge hit point lead right for me at the start. You can see I've only taken about 300 hit points off of my left tower, and he has about, oh my goodness, I don't even know, 1,400 hit points off of his other one. No, that's not right. 1,600. Now I'm going to be doing a Valk Prince, though, on the left side. Going to be trying to get this tower down, and he's going to go with Barbs and, I think, Minion Horde. 
That's going to be okay for me. I'm going to be able to arrow these minions out of the sky. And his barbs are now critically damaged, so my tower is going to be able to wipe them out. Goblins could start working on just trying to get these towers, you know, that repeated type of damage. But here we go. So even though I have my tombstone, it's pretty damaged. So it's not going to do the most against the mortar. And this guy had the right type of strategy. A lot of these mortar guys just like to periodically lay just bunch of splash units. Not splash units, but just spam units as I call them. I'm going to have to go with my spear golems here. Otherwise, tower is definitely down. That minion horde is just too strong to let alone. Now, giant with the goblin barrel again on this other side. Going to be doing some serious damage there. But this mortar is still pounding away at my tower. So I'm stuck with 1,200 and 700 on his towers. He's going to do some, he did some extreme damage. He got a hit point advantage on the right lane. I'm going to be able to use a minion horde to wipe out the barbs and skeletons and only get one shot off. Now though, mortar back out to work. I'm just going to ignore the tombstone. It's not worth laying it after the fact because I don't have a zap and that would be the only thing that could get mortar to retarget at this point. So there we go. My tower is down. Now I'm going to go Valk Prince on this side. And that's kind of the interesting thing. I decided not to go on the opposite side because of where that elixir was and because I thought I need to get the hit points down. You can see it's only 45 seconds left. I'm in some trouble. And he look, he has so many units. It's going to be hard to crack anything. I go giant goblin barrel. Luckily for me, he goes minion horde off the start. Really, really spends a lot of elixir there. Now my goblin barrel going to get down, oh my goodness, to 373 hit points. Now it's the mortar. I'm going to be using a Val here at the base of my tower. I really should have laid it a little bit closer because that would have done a little bit better. But now I've got my minion horde. He's going to zap. That's going to do some serious damage. I mean, how did I even recover from here but now it's giant i got a couple minions still alive got my spear golems as well i need to take down the mortar or i'm done nine seconds left here comes the goblin barrel over the top he's got a mortar on my side of the arena and it was really dumb what i did here i laid the prince on the right side if it would have locked onto my tower it would have been over right there because he could have zapped i don't know if he had the fireball but he could have zapped down my tower at this point but now prince continues on tesla's going to be down after one more shot and now he's going to be forced to lay some spear golems otherwise he's in some trouble i laid the giant in the center to try to help out with the Valk and everything. Arrow down the minions. And now my giant's going to be getting onto the tower. Look at this. We barely forced overtime. Now we're in overtime. And trying to get to the hit point tie. He's still leading by about 50. But doing all right now. Goblin barrel over the top. I'm going to have to lay a tombstone in front of my tower. So the mortar won't do anything. He zaps instantly. And that's what I've been learning. Is my goblin barrel is still pretty low level. Because these zaps are just completely clearing out my goblins. Minion horde now continuing on. I'm just going to ignore these base units. There's nothing I can do to, if I delay these base units, there's nothing I could do to afford it. Now, 12 seconds left. Giant is being distracted by the Tesla. I have spear guns to help out. Come on, I just need to push forward. He's going to lay a mortar, and that was a big mistake for him. Boom! There it is. Four seconds left on the clock. Barely forcing overtime. There it is. So what is as hard to overcome as a mortar user? Yeah, a level 10. So here we are, guys, level 10, and he's got the princess, and that is the legendary I want so much. Every time I see her, I'm like, oh, please, super so. But yet, still nothing. So here comes the P.E.K.K.A. in the back. I've got my Valk Prince on the other side. Going to be able to get to the tower early on, but these level 10 commons, oh my goodness, they do so much damage. You can see my prince is going to die, my Valk getting some serious damage down. Now, P.E.K.K.A., the P.E.K.K.A., I do have a pretty good chance with because of that tombstone. Going to be taking the P.E.K.K.A. into the center and being pretty easy to take down. But now the princess, she's going to be able to just stand back and take down my minion horde. And that was really what, something I was going to vouch for. Like, I really needed that to do some good damage. Princess is going to clear out all the skeletons. And now I just have to take her out. I was going to lay her. I was going to be able to use the spear golems to take her out. Couldn't, though, because he put down the prince. Now Valk in between the two. She's finally going to take down the princess after I have lost so much hit points. You can see I only have 300 on the right side and 1890 on the left. Spear golem going to get a couple hit points off. Now there goes my goblin barrel. Now what was he thinking here? He goes with the minions instead of his arrows, which was the thing directly next to it in the queue. I'm going to just arrow down the minions and try to get some tower damage there. Finally, I have a tower I can take down for sure with those arrows. Going to be go pretty good. He's going to be going with the Dark Prince. I think I'll probably go Giant here or just Normal Prince. I wanted to go more of a tank unit and it worked out well for me with where I put it because this Princess isn't going to be taking down my tower. Spear Golem going to take down the Princess because of that Prince she was distracted on. And boom, there goes the tower. So I take the early advantage, but it's really not much seeing as he still has over 700 hit points left on the o other tower. It's going to be really tough for me. 
Luckily though, Tombstone, he's he's really not good with making combos, and that was probably my biggest saving factor. I'm gonna be going Minion Horde here. He's just waiting for Elixir to come up. He's probably gonna arrow these down, and now this Becca is guaranteed to take out the tower. I mean, this giant really won't do that much, especially because he's gonna have so many hit points down. I mean, Pekka and the giant are the same levels. Like, how am I supposed to compete? How am I ever supposed to compete with that? Now, Dark Prince Prince on the opposite side, level five versus level two. This is just so ridiculous at times. Now, his prince on my prince, both of them charged up, so at least I get some of that ability. Now, Tombstone goes down onto the prince, gonna be able to take him out. Now, minions, I'm gonna treat them like a minion horde because they are level ten, so hard to deal with, and. Oh my god, he just keeps up the pressure here. It's okay though for me though, because I still have that one tower down. I'm just trying to delay him at this point. 20 seconds left. It is okay to play this defensive game. Dark Prince comes through. Princess immediately though knocks down the skeletons and boom, she's just going to stand back there and end my day. But luckily the giant goes down, pushes her out of the way, and she decides she doesn't like that. So she's going to turn around, shoot the giant, and boom, there it is. Barely pulling off the win with a level 10. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. I am getting so close to Legendary Arena and I really can't wait. I'll be having a level 1 video out tomorrow. I basically have an entire week off of school. Pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, that'll be coming. Again guys, we are getting so close to 200 subscribers. I am pumped. So get ready for that. But until next time, this has been Cupcake Smasher bringing you another video.